Hey guys, I'm just getting my camera gear ready for a vacation. We're going to Disney World for about four or five days and we're going to every park except for Hollywood Studios. So I just want to share with you guys what I'm going to bring and why. So this is my 10 bed DNA 10 bag and it's a really nice bag. I chose to go with an over the shoulder bag instead of a backpack. Now I've gone to Disney World before and I took um, a backpack and it was just kind of a pain to have to take it off all the time, get into your gear, getting in and off of rides is also kind of a pain. So this time around, I'm doing a shoulder bag. I have a bad back. Um, I don't want to be carrying a, a super heavy ton of gear in 95 degree um, humid weather. And again, my back is not the best. So I want to go semi light, but I want to bring enough gear where I don't regret uh, my choices. Now, if you watch some of my older videos, my last vacation, I took a Canon M50 on vacation with me to Florida. In, in a cruise and unfortunately I regretted that decision. Um, it just, the quality wasn't there, um, the form and the function, the controls just didn't, just didn't make me happy. So I'm not doing that same thing. I sold the Canon M50 and I'm bringing my H, uh, Fuji X-T2. So again, I have the Tenba DNA Messenger uh, bag and this is in the I forget the co copper, I think they call it. Uh, copper color, they don't make this color anymore. They still make the bag. The bag is for about 90 bucks. I bought this copper color uh, when they had it on clearance for like 60, $69. And I really ended up liking it. Um, but the bag is still made. The, uh, it's, it's a nice bag. It's, it's pretty cool because I won't get into all the details. I'll have to do a separate video on this bag just not to make this one super long. But um, I made a couple modifications just for carrying it a long time. Um, it had come with, I have it here somewhere, but it came with a, um, a, a different shoulder strap and it was very narrow and not very comfortable. I don't know what I did with it, but I took it off and used an old duffel bag um, shoulder pad. It's not the best, but it's, it's better than nothing and it's much better than, than what they had include it in the bag. The other thing that's cool about this bag is it's got a zipper so you can access it without having to open the flap. Really cool, and it's got a flap. This is water resistant, not waterproof. It does have a bag um, in the side there. I have it st stowed away in case it totally rains crazy and, and you want it completely waterproof. It also has retention straps that, that pop off. They're magnetic. So uh, again, I won't I'll do a separate video on just this bag. Uh, in the bag, I forgot to cover what's on the outside of the bag. This is a UltraPod. Now this is kind of like a Joby tripod or a small little mini tripod. And the reason I wanted to bring this, I'm not bringing a traditional tripod. I'm just trying to save on the size and the weight. But I need something to prop up against a tree, a trash can, a table to do uh, long exposures or family photos. And this is so small and weighs almost nothing. <clears throat> it tucks right in the side over here. A couple of batteries. Um, gotta have some batteries. So I got two extra batteries. Uh, some cleaning kits. Um, um, just some cloths, microfibers. And in here I just have the, the cover for the bag. I'm bringing the Fuji X-T2 with the 1855. I don't have the lens hood on. I do have a B&H filter. And the reason is because when I'm switching lenses, it just becomes a pain. So I'm trying to make it easy and um, uh, really easy and light. So that's what I have, the 1855. Optical stabilization, great for video, especially at the wider 18 millimeter focal length. So I'll be shooting some video for a, for a family photo or a family video. Never leave home without it. Uh, Zoom Mini. This is for Fuji. I usually just, not bringing a trigger, I'll just run this right on, on the camera. And I am also bringing two additional lenses. So I am bringing the 12 millimeter Samyang. This is an F2 lens. It's a small wide angle lens. It's a manual lens, <clears throat> but it's, it's, it's great. It's sharp. Um, the color on it is great and it's small. Uh, the 1855, the 18 millimeter focal length and a crop sensor, 
it's just not wide enough in, in many cases. If it was 16, I'd probably reconsider the, the decision. But at 18, you got to have something wider. Um, and I use this uh, focal length 12 millimeter a lot when I'm on vacation. Hotel rooms, um, just, just generally a lot, of, a lot of different purposes for the 12 millimeter. Also, in the way I have my bag configured, it can actually carry an additional lens. Um, so if I want it to, is I could put the lens back. I could take this flash, shove it on the side here because it'll fit if I shove the bag down a little bit. And I could put another lens on top and, um, and have a three lens plus the camera lens configuration. So pull that back out. I have some CTO gels for my flash and I have the three different colors from light to the darkest and these simply attach. I have a rubber band in here as well on the Zoom Mini. Now this will fit a full-size flash but on the Zoom Mini they fit as well. Don't need any special ones. You just take it and rubber band, good to go. Great for color balancing your interior of your hotel room restaurant, anything inside where they're using a, a uh, more of a yellow tint light, you can match your flash up to it. If not, it's, it's very difficult in post. So I, I do bring these, again, they're small, lightweight, almost take up no extra space. And a couple spare SD cards. I don't usually run out in the camera. I have two 64 gigabytes and my spares are a 64 and a 32. And that's even with shooting video. And J I shoot J JPEG, RAW, and video. And I usually don't run out of the 64 megabit cards. But if I do, um, you gotta have a couple spares. I also have some of these uh, wiping clears. These are by Flens, but the other brands are uh, fine as well. Uh, these are just nothing more than lens cleaners. Great for sunglasses, um, glasses lenses for your camera if they get really bad. Good to have a couple couple of those in there as well. The other thing I have is 35 millimeter f2. Now this is a small lightweight lens but great for portraits. It's an f2 so it lets quite a bit of light in if I'm taking something at night and I, I haven't used this a lot when I first bought it and um, I'm really really starting to warm up to it and love the 35 millimeter focal length. Um, so, and it's so small and lightweight, I created this little flap, but when you do that, if you have a compartment, I always recommend that you have a compartment large enough to be able to do a lens swap. So if I'm swapping the 1855 for the 35, make sure the lens fits. I did. The 1855 will work or will fit in there. And, um, and the reason this little, I have a little, um, camera bag insert. And that's more of a, a strapping, just so that, as you can see, that there's this indentation relief from the body to the lens. And if I didn't have anything, it's going to sit kind of weird. Um, this just allows the camera to sit nice and flat, so when I grab it, it has some kind of support. The other thing that I'm bringing, again, small and, and lightweight, is this little microphone. Off. This is a ETM001 microphone. It's a very small microphone, but it actually sounds very, very good. Um, it comes with a little foam cover and it just fell off when I was grabbing all that stuff out. And with the Fuji, it's got a little microphone slot. So I'm just going to plug it in there. If I'm doing video and I want some decent audio, I'm just going to pop it in there. I'm not going to take any kind of, you know, shotgun microphone or anything like that. <clears throat> I'm just going to rock it like that, pop it off. And if I need to stick this back in the bag, I made this little perch out of Velcro. I can just set it here and then Velcro over it just so it doesn't fall out and I lose it. That goes for about 20 or 30 bucks from Amazon, and uh, it works very well. The sound quality, um, it, it's nice for, especially for the size. I mean, it's, it's tiny. So, 
Here's some other camera related items that I do bring on vacation with me, but I don't carry in my camera bag. So these are more uh, items that I keep in the hotel room uh, so that I have with me on vacation, but not necessarily on my person when I'm walking around. Um, camera sensor cleaner. I bring a little jar of the cleaner itself in two of the swipes or swabs. Put it in a Ziploc just in case it leaks. It usually doesn't have a problem, but you never know. A little mini blower, rocket blower. This is great for cleaning my lenses and when I get back to the hotel room, I'll dust them off. Um, and the sensor cleaner, I only use if I need it. If I realize I have a spot on my sensor that happened once on vacation, you gotta have a way to clean it. I carry the Fuji charger and uh, you know, you can charge it via the camera, but I always bring the charger. And also the charger for double A's and triple A's. Um, triple A's, not really camera oriented. I use it for my headphones, but I always have two spare batteries of double A's and a charger so that my flash, it takes two double A's. I can just swap them out every time I'm back to the hotel room. I don't even carry spare batteries for my flash in the bag. I just swap out the fresh pair, put the other two in there, put it on the charger, and I always have a fresh set of batteries. So I keep this in my, again, it's called, I call it electronic bag. I have phone chargers, scales, speakers, shaving stuff, but um, I also carry a brush, again, just to do some cleaning maintenance if needed when I get back to the room. Carry some extra of these cleansing wipes. I just usually restock my bag. That's what the purpose of that is. And then I have my SD card reader for my iPad and iPhone in order to transfer pictures. This is a must have if you're a iPhone, iPad user, and I think that's about it. So this is what I'm taking to Disney World. I hope it helps people out if you're getting ready to go on vacation, and I'll give you an update when I get back on what I wish I would have done different as far as bringing gear. But if you have any questions or like to leave comments, please do so below. Thanks for watching. Bye.